Hello, my name is Chris. I'm with MyCricketForum.com. Today what we have here is a Verizon HTC Droid Incredible 2. The uh, hardware has been upgraded from the original uh, Droid Incredible. And also this is a global phone. This is why I'm keeping this phone as my uh, own for a while. It's definitely uh, pretty sleek. Anyways, uh, we're going to fully flash this to Cricket. That's Talk, Text, MMS, and uh, Internet. Uh, this one actually has already been flashed, but we're going to go through the uh, process. Since it's Verizon, you'll already know the SPC. It's 000000. 000, 000. Um, you'll need the HTC Diag drivers, and they'll be in our forum under the tutorial for flashing this device. It's good to follow the typed up tutorial and the movie at the same time, or watch one and then read the other, or vice versa. So once you've got the drivers on your computer, go ahead and plug in the phone. Right now there isn't a uh, really easy way to root this device, so we're going to put it on the $55 plan. Uh, later we'll go back and try to get it working on the $45 plan. Like most HTC phones, uh, Evo, the original Incredible and whatnot. <coughs> Excuse me. You have to dial pound pound three four two four pound. On this one, you have to push call, I guess. And then the DM command service screen will come up. And here are all the drivers. It's in, and devices it's installing. Since we've installed so many devices, it should actually already know where those drivers are. We're going to go into our device manager. We do install a lot of devices onto this uh, computer since we use it for flashing. So I try to keep all the COM ports the same. See, it's already up on COM port 80. I'd have a million COM ports if I didn't manually make them the same. So I'm going to take that COM port, the port settings advanced. I'm going to make it 15 like all the rest of the devices I use, uh, flash. It's going to give you a little warning that that port is already in use. It'll say COM 15 or whatever port you put on, but I like to unplug the device and plug it back in. So next I'm going to go to QPST. I'll show you how you would do it if you didn't have this uh, COM port set up already with QPSC. Just go to the configuration. You'll hit the ports tab and then add new port and then it'll either show up right here or you might have to click the check mark and then it'll show up. Select it, hit OK. Find the device, click it, and hit service programming the device should pop up. Click OK. Click read from phone. It's all zeros with Verizon phones. First tab you'll need to edit is the CDMA tab. Right here where it says directory number, that's your phone number. Always enter this first. And then your IMSI underscore S, that's your MIN number. If you come back and try to modify this number, it's going to make the IMSI underscore S the same. So MIN needs to be entered last. Pretty much we're using all the uh, default settings here that were already in the phone. EVRC all the way down. We did save the original um, file or configuration since this is a good ESN phone. 
Uh, it might increase the value later if we want to resell it. It might help us find a, a buyer. Next one you'll want to go to is the Rome tab. Find your PRL. We have a PRL thread in the forum. Select it. The next one you'll go to is m.ip. Click your profile. Put your phone number at mycricket.com in both fields. Enter a text string here. It's going to be cricket, all in lowercase, like so. And then enter the same thing right here. Then you'll hit OK. It's OK for the mobile IP behavior on this device to be uh, mob plus uh, simple fallback. Go to the PPP config tab, hit UM. So your phone number at mycricket.com here, your phone number at mycricket.com here. Enter the password cricket in lowercase again. Select these two boxes. Then go to the AN. You won't be able to enter anything here, so don't worry about that. Enter your phone number at mycricket.com there. And then cricket as the password. Make sure that box is selected. And then go ahead and hit write to phone. It'll write to your phone and then it'll reset the device. And if you're on the $55 plan, at that point you should have talk, text, and MMS working. Actually, talk, text, and internet is what I meant to say. For MMS, you're going to want to install APN Backup Restore. We've uh, included a download link to it, or actually, we've included it as an attachment on the thread in our forum. Uh, you can use uh, ADB to install that, or you can put it on your SD card and install it from your device, or you can put your device on uh, Wi Fi and go to the market to uh, download that. Actually, you don't even have to put on Wi-Fi because at this point you should have uh, 3G internet. There's a file that we've uh, put in the forum and it's a XML file. It contains the uh, APN to get MMS working on this device. You're going to want to put that in a folder in your SD card called APN Backup Restore, all one word. I suggest that you back up what is on the device, save that, and then you go ahead and delete APNs. Just go delete all the APNs on currently on your phone, and then you go hit restore. And this is the APN that I have set up with my phone number inside of it. Oh, I'd restore that, and then your MMS should be working. If not, reboot the phone. Again, this is the uh, Droid Incredible 2 fully flashed to Cricket. Definitely one of the easier devices to flash over. Please visit www.mycricketforum.com for more information.